Along this path behind Willis Library is not only a preserve of native Texas plants, but also an effort by students to preserve bees. This box off in the bushes will provide a comfortable home for bees who will pollinate the wildlife along this path and around campus. While bees are usually known for either their sweet honey or their painful stings, they actually help plants reproduce by carrying pollen from plant to plant. Normally, these bees would be in dead wood that's naturally there, but, he, but because humans generally clean that up, the bees are left homeless. Ethan Phillips, who started the Bee Box Project, said the project started off small, but it soon expanded with the help of others. I learned that the future is through cooperation, and so working with these new people who have ideas, uh, and that I've been working really hard to bring this community aspect to my project that was just as like a one and done kind of thing, um, is helping reach out and teach people about bee boxes, but also expanding them across the campus. Tristan Wheeler, the Associate Director of Diamond Eagle Student Resources Center, which includes the UNTB committee, said the boxes are targeted at native bees. Native bees are more specialists, so they can um, pollinate any of our wildflowers um, much more effectively and efficiently than honeybees can. Honeybees, which are not native, are generalists, so they can pollinate a little bit of everything, but not super effectively. Tristan said she hopes they can continue to expand the bee boxes and develop more native wildlife areas on campus. I'm Dylan Duke, NT Daily News.